here's a little teaser of this project I've been working on in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to present it to you in the next video. And for today's video, it is still one of the demolition derby cars that I've built for my son. It is one of three, um, actually. Today I'm going to build two of them. So at the end, there are going to be three new cars for my son. This is one of them. It is a Dodge. And I'm going to start by disassembling this car. As I mentioned earlier, it is an old build. Uh, you can see I had this cut on my hand a um, few months ago. Now I'm okay. So uh, I don't want you to be concerned about my hand. It is an old wound. And here you can see the car is ready for painting. I've made some dents and knocks on the bodywork. The best thing about these demolition derby cars is when you're customizing them, you don't have to be too accurate with the paint and details. There are no chrome parts that you have to paint as well. So they are really fast builds that are fun and look really authentic and original. About the paint, the green color is of a retro can as well as the blue mismatching panels. And the details I'm adding right now are of acrylic paint. Whenever you're customizing a Demolition Derby car, it is better for you to paint the inside with the same uh, paint and the same color as the outside as the body because it will give the effect as if the car was stripped from the inside and actually there are some exposed parts of the car with the same matching paint as the body and here's the car after I finished everything I've added some graphics hand-painted and the overall outcome is very nice. I've painted the wheels in matte grey and the rims were just regular black paint color. Uh, there are no headlights and taillights and there are these bars at the front that adds extra realism to this build. And as promised, it is the second car I've built for my son. Here's the first one I've showed you in the last video. And now I'm going to create the third one, which is a Chevy Chevelle wagon. And here it is. It is a very nice looking car very detailed and nicely done by Hot Wheels but I'm going to turn it to a demolition derby car once again since it is a fast build for my son there is no need to remove all the paint I'm just going to scratch the surface a little bit and then I will paint over it with yellow Next part I'm going to remove are the headlights. You don't need headlights for a demolition derby event.
Inside this booth I've made a few years ago, I'm scratching and denting the body of this car. I want to give it a nice looking bashed appearance. And since I don't want any parts of this body flying around, I'm using a booth with a clear cover so I could see what I'm doing. The wheels I'm going to use are of a Magibox off-road vehicle. I'm going to clear some room for them and they will look better for sure um, in comparison to the original ones. I think that this area looks too clean, so I'm going to dent this part as well. Now I'm going to burn this bumper a little bit just to distort it. And another thing is to remove the tail lights. They are broken. And after I've done with the details, here's the new paint for this car. It is nicely bashed yellow with some dirt on the sides and hand painted graphics. And here is the complete set of three cars, took me a few days to complete, they are ready to be played with, we are going to have some great time with them. And right before I will leave you today, here is another teaser of this complicated build I have been working on in the last couple weeks. Thanks for watching and I will see you the next time. Take care. Bye bye.